Michael come, come from this angle. Like, look at look at it from this angle right here. You want to not look like Michael Jackson to you a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at that time I just like uh, didn't want to like like skate for a brand because I just felt like like you know if you know say they're paying me or something like then I need to now it's like I have to do this you know what I mean? so I was just like oh let me just skate for fun like you know and then I had a change of heart and I was like you know what I guess I'll try to do the skateboarding thing like for real. Plus, like, I grew up in the Instagram era. Like, I am an Instagram skater at heart. Like, I don't like saving my clips. Like, once I get something, I want to put it out. You know what I mean? And so, like, having to shift to this new like, thing, I'm like, what? Now I got to save my clips and I can't just post them and this and that. It was hard for me. I'm not going to lie. It was, like, tough for me to, like, switch over to, like, okay, maybe I should just give skateboarding a shot. There we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid playing Tony Hawk and doing wall ride on the game. And I was just like, that's impossible. It's not possible to ride on the wall on your skateboard. Now it's time to master the wall. When you're in a wall ride, wally to get more height. I actually saw my friend Derek. We were skating this tunnel by my house and he did a, like a small one on the wall. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> And I was, had to learn it. And it took me like two years from that point to finally learn one. But like once I did, I just got hooked and just started doing it all over, yeah. Like I know it sounds so basic, but like go fast and ride the wall. Seen it in um, Ben Cato Park. Uh, triple backflip. Man, it's, it's harder to skate than I thought. I still think it's doable, but I'm gonna have to probably come back. Oh yeah, all the time, yeah. Wallying shit like that, yeah. got into a jewelry for the sake of um, art it's just like a way of molding or shaping metal into my pieces and since my equipment to work with is so small I just started making jewelry but I'm not too like into the jewelry for the sake of like bling bling and diamonds and all the fucking like flashy shit I'm just more from like an art art perspective where I'm just more interested in like playing with it as a medium, you know, to be... This is a place of football, this is not a place of skateboarders. What do you mean oh. football? They're the place downtown for you guys. Oh, uh, okay. But the man they come to talk about, they create that place especially for you guys. But, but we're, like, we're, this, we like this place. <laughs> this is a wrong place. This is a good place. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we just got kicked out. <laughs> Yeah.
Spelled like A K W A. A K W A. Does yeah. that mean something? Different? No, it just means like water, like okay. aqua water. But spell it A K W A. Oh my gosh, I don't know, hundreds. Yeah, yeah. I really like um, when people give me a prompt that's just one word. I feel like I can get more creative with it. Um, and that felt fresh and original to me. Yeah. While we're at it, let me open my mouth until overflowed, until the life force of all things has filled me to the brim. Finally, I'll float into the sea, let the salt brine my hair, and let the tides pull me back to shore on aqua for Aquasi. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I feel like it's just a, to now that I read it like and tried to comprehend it, seems like just like a free spirit flowing through the ocean, the water, or something like that. You know, any artist who's like making stuff that um, is outside of reality, I just think like, you know, that's what art is about. It's like a cartoon, like you can do anything. So like, like when um, people make stuff that's like impossible in reality. It's dope. I like this guy's expression. You were saying this is stuff you posted in 2020. 2020, yeah. So that spoon that I was talking about is right here. And so like it, through the page of the book, I thought it was like literally the size of a spoon. So seeing it right now and seeing the perspective, it's like this big. Book. So I'm like, whoa, it's cool to see all of that stuff in person. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a cramp in my back. They took a piece of the pyramid right here. I think so. That's or crazy. Something. Yeah, it looks like it. I think that should go on the meeting class. Have you guys seen that? Good. Yeah. Slappy ledge right here on the way up. What do you got on that? Maybe like a 360 kickflip to back tail slide. 270 up. <laughs> Easy. How does this look? Dude, you might need multicolor. Oh my god, high key. I look, <laughs> I might need all of them. I like these. I guess I would tell the 20 year old me that uh, I guess it's all gonna be all right. <laughs> I guess I would tell the 20 year old me just keep doing what you're doing, really. Because there was times at, around that age where I was just like, fuck man, I think I should stop skating. Like, shit just wasn't working out. And I was getting older, you know, 20. So I'm just like, fuck, like, you know, if it didn't happen, like, by now, then. And it's funny that it's shit's happening now and I'm like almost 30. <laughs> like, I kind of like needed that period of time to like stop thinking about it so much and try to start figuring out other things because I feel like it's kind of put me in a better position for like after skateboarding, maybe I can like, you know, do one of the other things that I kind of like got into as a result. 